Well, welcome back to the channel, guys. I'm sorry I haven't been on for a couple of weeks. I've been kind of busy with getting into some research, learning some new skills, and I thought today would be a great day to catch you up and let you know what I've been doing. So first things first, I kind of stopped on the car for a couple of weeks, and the reason for that was, you know, just like everyone else, Christmas was coming up. I didn't have the time to get on that car without being absolutely slayed by my other half who would have killed me if I wasn't doing all those things that I needed to over Christmas. So one of the things that I wanted to get on the vehicle over Christmas that I ordered were these. These lovely Weller push-through aluminium uh, hubcaps and they arrived, they're the right size, they're from the right company and I offered them up to the wheels and they didn't fit. Now I quickly realized one of the reasons for that was that the wheels have since been powder coated and because of that we've added probably, I'm guessing, two to, two to three mil on the radius of those center holes. So when it came to offering these up, they got scratched, they didn't fit and that was basically 45 bucks down the drain. Like a complete moron, I didn't keep the plastic on, I scratched it, I can't send it back. So that got me thinking about what I could do to make personalized hubcaps for my car. I needed a very specific size and there was nothing out there on the market that was currently being made. And then a few days later, I ended up on, I think it was eBay and I was looking for some letters for my Land Rover. Now I've got a couple of Land Rovers and on the front of those Land Rovers, we love putting on the 3D lettering that just says Land Rover. Nice and simple, went online to reorder those a hundred quid, a hundred pounds for plastic. So I started thinking, what can I do to make my own letters? And I started looking at 3D printing and five hours later, just before Christmas, when I was meant to be buying presents, I spanked 700 pounds on a 3D printer, which arrived in the new year. I also started looking into 3D modeling software. So what you'll see behind me on one of my computer screens is the outcome of about 30 hours worth of learning on Skillshare using a program called Fusion 360. And I basically designed myself over Christmas my own push through hubcaps. I was super excited to get the machine, but there were delays with it being Christmas. And eventually the machine arrived in the new year. It is manufacturing in our houses. We can now print whatever we can imagine if we've got the skills to model it. We finally printed our first push through 3D hub. And this is the piece Hopefully the light's catching that and it's in focus. But I've got to say, this thing is super strong and it's just bonkers. We've created something that was an idea in our heads of taking measurements from the original with our um, digital calipers. And we've been able to create a piece that we've modeled slightly differently, but got my own funky little five star on top. The cost of printing this part, minus the cost of the machine, minus the cost of, you know, tens of hours about learning the actual technology, but in terms of raw materials, £1.50 for plastic, maybe another £1.50 in heating, because you've got to heat the, the machine, and then seven bucks in spray paint, and we're done. Pretty cool, right? I'd love to know your thoughts on this new tech. Is it something you'd use? Is there something in your house that maybe you think you can't get hold of, or you'd like to design? Anything about 3D printing that takes your interest, it'd be cool to chat about it. So drop me a message in the comments and uh, let's have a conversation. One well a wheel with a hub cap that doesn't fit any normal hubs. Here's the hub. Let's get that through. Super happy with these. That was what I spent my Christmas doing. I wanted to do a quick little video just to let you know I hadn't curled up and died underneath the car over Christmas. It is still sat behind me. We've got a lot more work to do on it. We've also got some amazing news. You might remember I was doing up a VW Crafter last year. 
Well, that broke down in Wales and we're going to be driving down to Wales next week to pick it up. Anyway, I will catch you next time. Take it easy and bye for now.